Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScope channel. Join me today as we learn more about the MySQL connector in Power BI. So today we want to get data from a MySQL database. And first of all, we open the Power BI. And now we go over to the transform data to open Power Query. Now we want to add a new source, so we click the new source button and we search for the MySQL connector. We can see here the MySQL database connector, we double click it and as you can see it pops up this window saying that it requires one or more additional components to be installed. So in order to solve this problem all you need is to install the .NET driver from MySQL, you can easily find it. Um, in the internet and you just have to google it and you'll find it right away. I've already downloaded it so let's just close Power BI because once you install uh, that connector you need to restart Power BI. We'll just close and now install the MySQL connector. You, it will appear this setup wizard, you just click next. The typical setup type is enough for what we need and press install. And it's done, we have the MySQL connector installed and we can click finish. Now we open again the Power BI file that we had opened before. And now just repeat the same steps as we did before, we open Power Query, now we select the new source icon, sorry, here we have it, once we double click it, now we are able to put in the parameters we need to access the database we want, in this case the database is on my machine, so the server will be localhost, and the database name is Sakil. Just press OK. And now we have all the content within that database. We can select a few tables and press OK. Now as you can see we have the tables we have selected and we have successfully connected to uh, MySQL database. We can hit close and apply and now we'll see the tables we have imported to this model here on the report view. Here we have it. Now once we are done with uh, Power BI desktop we now want to publish this, repo this report to Power BI service. So let's publish, let's publish it to the to the, the Power BI service. We select the workspace of our liking and we publish it. Once it's published, we can close Power BI, and now we have the report and data set that we have published. Now, uh, a very important thing is, since we are dealing with an on-premises data source, we have to install a gateway in order for Power BI service to connect to that data source. So, it, it, we have to install that gateway and it's very easy. You just, uh, here on Power BI service, you go to these three little dots, the settings dots, and then you have this download option and you just select data gateway and it will redirect you to the data gateway page to download it. It's fairly easy and you install it without a problem. Once you are installing it, it will pop up a window similar like, like this. First you will be asked to enter your email, I've already entered it, and now you will end up with these two choices. In this case we want to register a new gateway on this computer, we can click next, and now we just give the name, a name to the to this gateway. In this case, I'm going to call it MySQL Sakila. 
and you have to define a recovery key. This recovery key is very important, so do not forget it. And as the name suggests, is if you need to recover this gateway, you need to know this key. So once you filled in these boxes with the name and the recovery key, you can hit configure. Now we have the, the MySQL Secure Gateway online and we can close this window. To check if it's really online and everything worked just fine, you go here over to the settings button and choose the settings wheel and select the option manage, manage connections and gateways. Here you, you choose the on-premises data gateways tab and you'll see that we have the gateway we have created. So now what we have to do is to map the data sources from the data set to this gateway. So the easiest way to do this is by going directly to the data set. You click here those three dots and choose the settings option. One thing here, you will go to the gateway connection and you can see here for now it says that it's not configured correctly but you just click this little arrow and you will see the data sources that there are in that data set so you just click add to gateway and this way you will have already the connection type filled in server and database now you just have to give it a name in this case, I'm going to give it the same name as the database, Sakila, and then you configure the authentication method. In this case, it's in my case, it's Windows. And put in the password. And now we can hit create. Now that connection has been created and we have to map that new connection to the data source we have here. So we just select Sakila and then we can click apply. Now we can go back to the workspace and check if everything is working And as you can see, everything is working just fine. Uh, one thing to note is, in this case, we only add one uh, data source, one database, but in case you have any other databases, you would just have to add a new connection with uh, for, for that database in particular. And that's it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more analytics content.